Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, now it's time to take on... Well, right now I'm just walking around with Mog for a bit, this won't be so bad at all, but... I'm also gonna have to get Party 1 through this mess. There aren't gonna be any bosses in this mini s in this segment at all, unfortunately, but... Might have been a bit too much to stick on the last one, considering it was already 20 minutes, and it looks like it might be another 15, so... Back one. And now I can do my augmented menu trick, since I don't need to know where my cursors are in the menu, like I did for those other spots. So I can tell exactly when I've gotten to the bottom, instead of having to put tons of safety on it. Saves a little bit of time. Left, up. Would it be so much easier if they just made noises when you hit the wall, like in Pokemon? Probably said that before, but at least this augmented menu trick allows me to do something about it, really. Of course, it doesn't work when I'm doing pseudo diagonals, so left and down is going to take me where it takes me. Thankfully, I. It's very convenient here because it just lines me up straight with the chest. No shenanigans. The only real things I have to do... The only real places I had to work around the layout here were in the save point room and getting the Mega Elixir chest. There we go. Triggered that thing. Now I just go right and up until I hit the chest. There we go. It's a rainbow brush. It's not exactly earth-shattering. In fact, I'll probably never even equip it once, but, you know, I got it, so... Alright, so this takes me back here. Two left, two up. Now I can get back to the save point. To start Terrace Group moving. Yes, if I did things in a different order, I would I would be able to avoid having to go back to the save point here. Oops, what am I doing? Whatever. But just check. Alright. Well then, so let's keep on going. So my luck has kind of run out with these great behemoths here, but at least I can cut all the junk that happens here out off camera, so... Because it's right at the start anyway, so might as well. It's just as easy here as, uh... Like, leaving the stuff in. I also went and fought a battle with Mog's screen, not... Mog's team off screen. Right. Down. That way, like, I, I didn't kill it, obviously, but I just, uh, defeat- I just ran away from the enemies there, and that resets my battle counter, essentially, so it me means I'm less likely to get a random encounter, like, right away with this team. Making some progress, actually. Dang it, I was probably really close. Well, let's just hope this isn't Great Behemoth. Seems like every time I get close, it's immediately a Great Behemoth encounter, but that doesn't appear to be the case this time around, so I'm finally gonna actually start this segment for real. Yeah, I was standing right next to the chest, like literally. Yeah, 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 revive Strago around one of my cannon fodder characters on this team. <laughs> so let's switch back to here. Safety save. And actually start to go somewhere. Down and left for a while. So essentially this will take me into the next room and I'll end up eventually just running into the conveyor belt over and over again. But that won't increase my chances of getting a battle anyway, so... It's... I might as well just be running into a wall here, to be honest. It's really no different. Up 
one step all the way to the left. So now this will line me up with the second conveyor belt, and now I take a step onto it. And make sure that I'm in the right place by doing the menu trick. It's really important there, because I think every encounter in that room involves a great behemoth. Which means I can't fight any encounters in that room at all. Which is why I'm going to take this opportunity to get into another encounter with Mog. And uh, reset my battle counter so that... Mog can take the encounter instead of my other team. Because <laughs> this area just has chumpy fortises and forti, I don't know. And like the death guy who doesn't really do anything dangerous either. Okay, that'll kill Gogo -Go if he's even still alive, which he probably is, but... Actually, he's, he's my worst defended character, not my best defended character right now. All things considered. Alright, so now let's switch back to my other team and save. Because I could still very easily get an encounter in that period of time. I want to save when my battle counter has already been reset to zero, so. So now I continue going all the way down. I don't know how far I have to walk downwards after I step off the conveyor belt. Probably not far. Right, down, all the way to the right. Any encounter here is a reset, so I don't want to have any around here. And... what? Oh wait, this is uh, nice. Did I switch to the second team by mistake? Yeah, that was team two. Oh well, I'll figure out what to do with them later. I probably walked off the switch somewhere, but I don't know where I am. <laughs> so, down. Right down, and now let's actually go through this route with the team that I'm actually supposed to be going through the route with. <laughs> Otherwise it's just completely useless, I'm mapping the wrong steps to the wrong team. Let's go up a little bit more to make sure I enter the door properly. Made it through that room without well, I'd say without incident, except for the fact that that whole switching to the wrong team thing happened. But, without uh, incident, if you refer to incident as great behemoths. All the way up to the top. And now I get the fixed dice, which are going to be really important actually because they're pretty much this team. <laughs> switch, switch. I want to save here for sure because I'm going through Great Behemoth territory again. It's not so long this time, but down, left, wait, I go left too. Two left just like I had to do when I entered the room. Battle here is no big deal. I'm gonna have to deal with these uh, Dark Force guys probably who can kill themselves with roulette. They really often like to do that, or at least they like to during my test runs. Just murder themselves with roulette while I'm escaping. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Oh yeah, right. Well, that was one dead character. All the way down to the bottom, which isn't too far. Then I do kind of like the S squiggle. So that just uh, brings me out of this room and back into dangerous Great Behemoth territory, but this is a short walk, so hopefully I'll be okay. Up one. Left. Nope. I'll have to deal with at least one encounter here. So let's see, will it be Great Behemoth? Or...
Okay, four Paris, that's good. It means it's four Vectors, I'm pretty sure. Now it's just gonna take a while for me to escape. Yeah, there we go. Oh, someone died. You know what? I don't even care. Let's just keep going. This is the longest stretch without uh, having any noise to tell me where I am, but it's not too bad considering the fact that I'm not actually spending much time in Great Behemoth territory here. Usually Great Behemoth territory is these uh, outside areas here. They're the most dangerous, but certain types are more dangerous than other types. If you notice, there's different background about but different backgrounds in different areas, and even sometimes when there's not even different backgrounds, there's different enemy sets. Like that one in the second room back there, That's that one's the worst, I'm pretty sure, because I think there's only battles with Great Behemoths in there, although there might be a Triple Oscar battle in there. Triple Evil Oscar. Anyway. So yeah, out of there now. So now I go down. But this doesn't quite line me up with the exit, so I have to go to right one and then down. This stream's pretty long, but it's not super dangerous, so who cares? Take one step back up and all the way to the right. Should probably get a battle in here. Yep, that's a very good sign because there's not a lot of places I can walk for that long. <laughs> this room is one of the only spots. And the enemies here suck too, there's nothing inescapable, so yeah, just freebies. Much prefer it when the distance is confined to rooms like these ones. Even though, like, what you've seen so far, it's not been too bad with the Great Behemoths, but... Oh, I got hit by Flare. Or... Okay, I'm not really sure what that was, but... I don't care, just keep going. It never happened. So yeah, I've probably made it to the end now. Up to the top. So this will take me into the Doom Dragon Room. It's uh, really not that bad. Because these guys aren't great behemoths, obviously, which and they're not gonna kill me probably, so. Down one. I gotta go back a step after both my movements in this room. And I actually have to re-enter this room. This is one of those cases where it's like, it's not gonna give me a noise, so I just gotta make one. <laughs> Cause I do not wanna go through the next part after having gone through the last part. There we go. So I've made it safely there. Just two spots left to go in this segment. Wait, that's my item menu. In hindsight, healing might not actually be such a bad idea. Even though I'm pretty sure it's only Realm and Strago that have any reasonable chance of dying, but might as well be sure. I mean, I guess Roulette could kill someone else if it actually went off before people started escaping. Down. This area is still pretty easy to navigate, but... Alright, so maybe this isn't going to be a great behemoth. It wouldn't be the biggest disaster ever if it was, but it turns out it wasn't. Now, let's see if I can make it all the way to that chest. It's still a ways away there, so... Because I got that battle straight out of the door, pretty much. Still, it's shorter. It's a shorter walk than the first walk I had to do in here, and it's also a shorter walk, I think, than the uh, time I spent in the Super Great Behemoth Death Room of Death. Dang it! I was so close. Pretty sure I'm one step off. I don't hear any escaping, so... And it doesn't have the... 
Oh, we're all in syncness of the four back doors. Well, that's definitely great, Behemoth. So now you get to see me reset. Re me reset. Yay. Maybe I should fight a battle in the Doom Dragon room because there's no chance of me hitting anything bad in there. I might just do that and then... Because I'm pretty sure it's been a while since I've actually run into anything. So... I'm lucky that I didn't run into anything in that short walk I, where I just walked outside of this room. That would have sucked because... As you saw, actually no, that wouldn't have been a great behemoth encounter, because the first encounter that I actually got when I walked just outside of the room was something I could escape from. Alright, so now that I can make a little bit more distance off that, I'll go into my item menu and do absolutely nothing. So yeah, now it should hopefully only be one encounter that I hit until I make it out of here. And by out of here, I mean to the chest that probably contains nothing useful. This is another one of those chests where I probably should have made a decision whether to get it based on what was inside, rather than just grabbing it for no reason. Alright, I've made it most of the way there, so the chances of two battles happening now are pretty much zilch. Can I make it with no battles? Yes, apparently I did. Nice. And you know, I could even get run into an encounter with this team, because it, I know it's been a while since my last encounter. So might as well just rig the odds as much in my favor as possible. Especially since this team really is not in any danger at all. The only danger is me switching to the wrong team like an idiot again. One, two, three. That's like the pretty much the only step counting I've had to do since the Dark Force room ages ago with the fixed dice in it. The distances here feel very long in my head for some reason even though I think they're pretty short actually, just like three or four steps, but it feels so much longer. Dang it! I got it literally inside the doorway. If this isn't a great behemoth, I've ended this segment, but if it's a great behemoth... Okay, good. The segment is pretty much officially over at this point. <laughs> Yay for really good luck, I only had to reset once on camera for this entire portion, which is actually pretty crazy, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Alright, so this makes it to the door, pretty sure. Let's just check by uh, bringing that locked message up. It hasn't been locked. I didn't bring lock to the tower at all. What are you talking about? And you know, I should probably do my cleanup and see what I can do to figure out team two. There we go. <laughs> Might as well get that out of the way anyway. Alright, so that one will end up at around 20 minutes total, which is about the same as the last one, so I think that was an okay divide. See you next time.